Right here I have this cute kids alarm clock or just bedroom clock. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like and then we're gonna try it out. So this is everything that came inside the box, the actual little alarm clock itself. I picked this little white cat looking one, which I think is so cute. It also comes with the plug-in, it has the actual wall unit, and then the little connecting cord here. This is just a USB to Type-C charge cord, and that's gonna plug in right in the back right here. Let's go plug this in so we can see what the different functions are. Okay, I just plugged this in, so we are ready to go. It's charging up right now. I also do wanna note that after it does get charged up fully, you do not need to have this plugged in to use, which is really nice. I did just set the time on here, which was really easy to do. You just go around to the back and you have all of the press buttons on the back here. This time button, you're just gonna long press this button and then you're gonna be able to change the different time options in the front. You can see here, I long press that and then the one blinks that you can change and there's a little plus and minus button in the back so you can change all of those numbers between a 24 hour clock or 12 hour clock from AM to PM, so I just already adjusted all of that as well as the day of the week. So as you can see here, this does show 7.29 PM, and because it is PM, this does have a little moon right here, which I think is really cute. So I do wanna show you what it looks like when you see the little daytime icon, so we're just gonna keep going to a different time, so it would be morning. So you can see there's a little sun right up here in the corner. So I really like the way that it differentiates that, especially for younger kids that can't quite read the time correctly yet. When you do push the little time button in the back, you can change the brightness of these numbers. So I'm gonna go through them. This is the brightest right here. And then this is a little dimmer. And this one, you can barely see it. It's the dimmest. That'll be perfect for nighttime. And then this is the light completely off. Great, so let's look at some of the different functions on the back here again. We have two different alarm times right here. And you can adjust those times that you want to set those alarms with these plus and minus buttons down here. We have some different sounds here. This is going to be perfect if you do use like a noise machine for your kids, for example. That'll be perfect for that. Let me push those so we can see what they sound like. As I'm going through these, it does show which ones I'm picking. So you can see this sound kind of sounds a little bit more like white noise. We have some music. This sounds maybe like rain or a creek. This sounds like water as well. It's another lullaby. And some birds, some nature noises. A little cute little song. And then back to the white noise option. I do really like those. And you can adjust the volume with this plus and minus buttons over here as well. And then right over here is the little sun moon icon. If you push that, it's going to make it so that it either shows or does not show the little icon right there with the sun or the moon. So I'll just press that. You can see it turns off and then it turns back on. I personally really like that little icon. I feel like that's good for the kids to be able to have a visual cue of whether it's AM or PM or night or day. And then the last little button here is a light button and that's gonna change the light on the front of the alarm clock. So let me turn this around and let's go through some of the different colors on here. Okay, that one's really cute. It's a cute blue color. And I do wanna note that, I don't know if you can tell on here, but the cat ears do light up really dimly as well. This one's white. And this one's kind of a purplish blue, kind of an ombre look there. And then we have this green blue color. So I turned off some of the lights in here so you can see what this would look like when it is dark. I really like this option for the color. It just rotates through some of the different colors. It's really cute. But you can see these ears of the lights really dimly here. And so let me see when we turn the color completely off. It's not gonna light up the ears either, which is really nice if you do want it completely dark. And then lastly, there is a little snooze button on the top for when your alarm does go off. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna use this. Overall, I love this alarm clock. I think this is super cute. I think that this is a great first alarm clock, especially for little kids, even kids that can't quite tell the time yet. I love that they have the visual cues of seeing the sun or the moon to know whether it's morning or nighttime. And you can actually set this up to let you know when it's good to get up, when it's time to get up. The ring of the alarm clock will change colors, which I think is really cute. That way, if you have the rule that the kids can't come out of their room until six o'clock or 6.30 or eight o'clock in the morning, some certain time that works best for you, then you can easily do that with this clock.